Aloha. You are watching F5 Web Media On Demand. And welcome to In 5 Minutes or Less with Peter Silva. And today I'm going to show you In 5 Minutes or Less the Big IP Edge client and how it behaves when you boot up your computer. And as you can see, we got a new timer this time around. So let's start the clock. So I'm RDPing to my laptop as it boots up. And you can see down here in the tray, the F5 ball is starting to load. So let's open the main console. It's downloading the server settings for me. So this automatically launches when I boot my machine. If there are any updates to the components or plugins, that will automatically get downloaded. If the client itself needs to be updated, the entire client can also be updated during this process. I have it set to auto connect so it will automatically launch when I need a browser or when I need a connection. So now it's checking the client, it's doing the pre-logon checks, the Windows information, antivirus, any special pieces of information that our IT department looks for to ensure that this is a trusted IT device. Here too, certain pieces might be installed, like I might not have all of the components for the antivirus checking. Firewall. Also, what's pretty cool here is with the new geolocation, the geo IP feature in Big IP version 10.1, it tells me I'm in the North American continent, in the United States, and also in the state of California. So let's enter my credentials. Check in the registry. It's doing a cache cleanup. Creating the connection. and now I am on the network I'm on the F5 network I can certainly open my Outlook to get all my email one thing I do want to show you however through the command line oh, is the IP addresses here so this 192.168.0.6 address is my home IP address from Comcast. And then I have the address given to me from the F5 VPN, the 172.16.18.103. Now, if we had conflicting addresses, like the corporate network was a 192.168.0 subnet, the F5 client is smart enough to know that certain traffic will go to my home network and certain traffic will go to the corporate network which is kinda cool so I can still access my other servers my other computers my printers and so forth and so there you have it the big IP client connection as you boot up your computer and since we actually have a few minutes left which is very rare in the N5 series I just thought I'd show you the behavior from a regular browser now this certainly wouldn't work uh, when booting up your computer but it certainly does work when you just want to launch a browser and so I'll do that oh, wrong name should help Log on. continuing to do the same checks that the client does which is cool and you can see here I need a component installed and that would have also happened with the dialer itself with the standalone edge client and we got pop-ups blocking let's temporarily allow pop-ups this is a Windows 7 box it's fully supported on Windows 7 the cache control coming in just like the client as you can see here it's downloading any additional components that I might need as mentioned earlier and they're very light don't take long at all you can see I want to install now the main difference is because I was using the Edge client and this is Internet Explorer and so Internet Explorer has different specific components that it needs to run the tunnel. You can certainly prepackage the client, send it out as an MSI package and so that all of these components are pre-installed. Maybe it's part of your corporate image, just part of the corporate image as you issue new laptops you include this MSI package fully installed. And so now we're connecting authenticating the same status messages that you get with the client DNS helper let's add that and then you can see I get the set a location it drops down here into the tray I now will set this as my work location it'll be added into my dialers 
network name. You can also see down here in the tray that my F5 ball is available. You can either minimize or terminate the connection. Pretty cool. And so there you have it. Not only the big IP edge client showing its behavior when you boot up your computer and automatically connect. It's the smart connect feature knowing if you are on the corporate network or not and if you are not on it'll automatically create that tunnel for you. And then the same sort of situation however not starting up the box but the browser based type connection for a full network access VPN tunnel. So thanks for watching. This is Peter Silva for F5 Web Media on demand and visit us online at www.f5.com.